That's fine. What hey. are you doing? Hey, 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 I'm on camera. Uh, you know what? I'm um, I'm setting up uh, the Germans for this little uh, demonstrational video. Okay. For educational purposes. No, it's not a how-to video because we have done that. We hope you will take a look at it to see how you play the game. Yep. Uh, in today's video, um, I actually got a little idea since we are, you know, we're we're kind of very much into bolt action. Yeah. We love that game. It's like it's been our main thing for five years. But we're also very into this. We're also very much into 148 tactic. And why is that? Because bolt action, if you want to have a quick game, okay, that can take an hour or two or three if you play against me. Yeah, yeah, it can, it can. I've been there. 148 tactic, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes at most, yeah. and then it's over. And it's so tactical, it's so, you have so many options. So we thought, why don't we make a little. Let, let's look at those options. Yeah, comparison. Yeah. Uh, 148 compared to Bolt Action. Can you guys that love Bolt Action also enjoy this game? And vice versa. If you already know 148 Tactic, can, do, can you then also love Bolt Action? So we will try to show you some of the differences between the game, similarities between the games, yeah. and you know, try to get more people interested in, in this part of the hobby, which is World War II. Either you want it big and strategic, or you want it small and tactical. Yeah, because uh, we can't really say that this is a skirmish version of Bolt Action, since it's two completely different systems. Yes. But this is as close as you get to a skirmish version of Bolt Action. And you can use your Bolt Action miniatures. Yes, you can. So... But enough talking, let's play the game. Yes. So this is the battlefield. It's 3x3 three three Pideon tiles terrain with a Russian house. With a, with a Russian building. And we've already deployed the, uh, the scattered terrain pieces. One piece per miniature. And we have some static terrain pieces on the table. Oh, so the other pieces of terrain, they move? Yeah, these, these ones are movable. <laughs> Okay, so you can play the game on 2x2 two two or 3x3. Three three. We yes, chose 3x3 three three to have some more options. Yeah, and this building will block line of sight. Nothing else blocks line of sight. As you guys know, this game is all about the long shots. So this is the... what, what is it? 101st? 101st Airborne. Yes, sir. We got John Kelly, we got Harry Lee, Frank Williams and Dean Stanton. The four guys out of the... The U.S. starter box. Yes! And on the other side of the table we got some germs. We got some germs out of the starter box and we have Dietrich Schmeier. We have uh, Christian Kruger. We have Otto. And we have Eric Koenig. He's the king. Alright. So these guys painted by Martin. That guy. And yeah. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. Didn't we forget a really huge thing? What, what, why, why did we want to make this video? If you guys check out the thingy below where you can thumbs up and subscribe. Have we passed 5,000? Have we passed 5,000? I'm not sure, but I think when this video comes out, it's yeah. past 5,000. And if we haven't passed it, click the subscribe yeah. button and be our number 5,000. We are number 5,000. <laughs> but that was not the thing. Oh, you're talking about the tournament? I'm talking about the tournament. What's happening in February 2020? We are coming to England to teach you guys how to play this game. We okay. are uh, holding a tournament with uh, Steve Perry. Yes. And we got a lot of guys interested. We're going to be like 30 people uh, playing in the Midlands somewhere. Yes. Uh, I don't have the address. It's uh, close to Stockholm Trent. Yeah, Stockholm Trent. And... Yeah, that's what I said. Stop it's going to be a two-day event, and yeah, we're 30 people playing 148 Tactics, and it's going to be huge. This game. We'll make videos of it, of it as well. Yes. Road trip, road trip. Road trip videos. Okay, so just to do a, a quick uh, recap, February 2020, it's uh, 23rd, 22nd, 23rd yeah, February. Last weekend. 
Uh, we have a, an official 148 tournament group. Find us on Facebook. You can find it on Facebook. We will put Lars, put a link, put a link somewhere. somewhere down there in the description field. Uh, so join that and take a look. Uh, as Martin said, it's a two-day event. But yes, the special sir. thing is that on day one, which yep. is the Saturday, we will be teaching you how to play. Yeah, we'll have sort of a meet and greet thing where you can play against us or we can play some different scenarios, teach you guys how to play the game. And then... On and Sunday, then we're going to kick your ass. It's five games. And remember, these games are everything from 10 minutes to, yep. well, 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. So it's going to be plenty of time. We have one hour per game, so you can really relax, take it easy, have fun. Yep. A lot of banter, a lot of stuff. And they're, the prices, oh my lord, the prices. prices. They're going to, going to be great food. It's going oh. to be great people. Yes. So... I, I want to shoot you guys. Yeah, so I know, I, I know. But prices, there will be... You can have the <laughs> starter sets. Yep. 148 starter sets will yeah, be for, prices. First, second and third place is going to get a complete starter, starter set. box. The new Falcon Jaegers will be out by then. Yes, sir. You will also get uh, a Deep Cut Studio mat, mouse pad mat, maybe even game mat has thrown everyone, in something. Everyone who's coming is going to get a goodie bag. Oh, goodie bag! Stuff in it with uh, terrain... There's uh, talk of some special edition miniature yes. tournament only. Oh, yes, it is. Am I supposed to say that, Bernie? I think I it's okay. The discount codes yeah. for Deep Cut. Then, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Sarissa will be there. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, uh, now you know how to, you know, go and yes. check out the link. Go into the group. Join us in the UK in February 2020. Yep. And we've been talking for half an hour now, so let's... Play. Let's play the game. Uh, we will be back after we have uh, rolled off to see who wins deployment and deploy. Yeah, we'll and, come back with the start of turn one. Yeah, and then we will just do do a what straight shootout or fifty yeah, percent shootout. Yeah, just do a shootout, nothing special, just to show you uh, what we talked about the differences and similarities to bolt action. Yes. All right. So this is the deployment. We've got John Kelly on the flank. We've got Harry Lee over here. We Harry got Potter. Frank Williams with a blast grenade over here uh, with uh, Dean Stanton on the flank. The Germans have deployed their sniper on the edge. We got Meyer. Christian Krieger behind some cover. Yes, we got the Koenig. And we got Otto. Otto over there. He's going to do some running and sprinting. Woo. Uh, I got my smoke grenade. You got a smoke grenade on Christian? Yes. Nice. Uh, and what... Now, since this was going to be a difference slash similarities between bolt action. In bolt action you draw the die and then you deploy according to that. In this it's alternating. So you roll off or rather the guy with the least points yep. has to start deploying and the other guy then alter you alternate deploy. Uh, so we rolled off and Martin uh, kind of lost yeah, that. I lost that so I had to deploy first. So he started first. deploying and then I deployed according to where he deployed. But now... It's a roll-off to see who begins. So in bolt action, you draw dice. In this one, there's a roll-off, and you follow that order the whole game. Yes, sir. So this is important. It could be important. Not necessarily important. I roll the six, and I, I roll the six. six. Wow. We're off to a good start. We are. <laughs> oh, my. That's a double one. Okay, can I just... Uh, Pick the black TDB die. Yes, sir. Okay, so you have to start. I have to. Well, you can say have to, but in this game, it's actually a good thing to start. Yes, it is. As opposed to bolt action, where it's not necessarily the best thing to start. No, because in bolt action, I prefer to go last. Yes, because then you can react to what the enemy does. Yeah. In this game, you actually want to be out first and try to cause some casualties. Yes, sir. So, okay. so you get five action tokens. Yes, that's and also... Instead of like pulling the order dice and you activate one unit, here you get five tokens and you can spend them on the units you want to activate. Indeed. So the order is up to you. The order! Order! But then I know that when you have spent those five, it is guaranteed my turn. It is. So I can already start planning after you spend the first one. That is very true. So that saves a lot of time. Yes. Actually. So what I want to do first is to... And you can always measure in this game. Yeah, you can always measure. No problem measuring. Uh, 
Who do you want to activate? I think I want to go with uh, Mr. Kruger already. All right, Christian Kruger armed with the STG rifle. Yes, and he is uh, going to do a shoot and aim. Shoot and aim. So, no, we forgot something. Compared to bolt action, that's sort of like a fire order. Yes. And all of my guys start out in cover. That's the same as being down. Yes. So he, he's... Uh, or hidden or... Yeah. yeah. It's one harder to hit. The base chance to hit in this game is the same as in bolt action. It's a 3 plus. No, 4 plus. Bolt action so it's is not three. the same? <laughs> bolt action 3 plus. Here is a 4 plus. And the uh, difference from bolt action is that you get cover and it doesn't stack. Here it does stack. Yeah. Uh, and it is actually a chance of not being able to hit your opponent. Yeah, because there's no 6 followed by 6. No. So this guy, he has a line of sight to that guy. Yes, sir. Uh, so I think I will uh, shoot at him. I have one piece of cover, yes. and I am in cover. So, take so me from that's four, a minus 2. 4 to 5 to 6. Yeah. Do you want to... Do, do you want to roll some dice? I, I am in cover. He is in cover. So I can't go down or take cover from he this. He can't do another action uh, around that. That's correct. So what I will do, I will spend one more to aim my shot. Yes, sir. Because you, you got that aim characteristic on your character. Yeah. So he aims for two extra dice. Yes, he sir. shoots for one die at long range. So I will have three dice in total. Yeah. But as you know, I will need sixes to hit him. Yeah. And a couple of sixes. That's an automatic kill. Yeah. Two sixes. Headshot. No sixes. No sixes. So that was a unlucky shot. Yes, sir. Uh, then I want to spend... And we said that you were on long range. Everything is long range or short range. There's no maximum range. No. So the rifles can shoot right across the table. That is true. Whilst in uh, volt action, you are limited by range and more dangerous at super short range, which is... Also sort of a thing here, but we'll get back to that. Yeah, we'll get back to that. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> so, I want to set up a suppressive fire. Okay, let's go. On your sniper. Yeah. So, I will spend one action token on uh, Eric Koenig, because he has to be uh, in the... Uh, yep. He has to give the order, yep. sort of, so to speak. And this guy here is going to help out. Yep, yep. So, that's two action tokens spent. Yes, sir. And we will put down a suppressive fire token... Yeah, you can put it... Uh, I'm not gonna get all your guys, but I can at least try to stop you from... So if you put it around here... Yep. So now, by putting down a suppressive fire token, when Martin starts his round, all guys that have this token uh, within their uh, radius, which is 3 inches, can't shoot. He can move, but yep. he can't shoot. So it's sort of like being pinned out. Sort of being pinned sort out. Of. Yeah. Uh, okay, you have one token left. I have one token left, and with that, I will bank it just to... Because yeah, you can save it up for later. I can go down with this guy, Yeah. since he... or one of these guys, if I so desire, because they are now not uh, considered... Out of cover. So not, only Otto gets the in-cover thing. Yeah, so these guys are not considered in cover, as they are taking part in a suppressive fire, and he already did something. All right, then I get five action tokens, and I'm going to hand the camera to you. Yes. Hey, guys. Yes, sir. It's me, Martin, by the yes. way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try to respond to this suppression thing. Uh, I'm gonna use an action token to move Harry. Okay. That takes him out of cover. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to move him out of that suppression. I'm and then just... you have to be at least three inches away from the center of the token. I'm just gonna run him over Or here. actually, no, uh, I checked it and it's actually you measure from the base of the token. Yeah. So you get more or less like three and a half inch. That's correct. So he's moving so over there. Moving over there. Okay. And That's one action that to move. This. Stays. Yep. And then? And then... Um, this is Frank, isn't it? Yeah, Frank's gonna... No, that's Dean. Dean stand. Dean's gonna move up to the cover. Okay. Then he's gonna fire upon uh, Christian. So that's kind of an advanced move. Yeah, well, sort of, because I spend one to move and one to fire. Yeah, so it's a move it's and fire. You can move and you can shoot. Yeah. Okay. So I'm shooting Christian. That's the guy behind cover over there. Okay. As I have a base to hit of four, and you have one cover. That's five. Yeah. So as you know, I saved one of my tokens. 
Yeah. And I know that Martin is now... I have two left. Yeah, Martin is now baiting me because what he is going to do is to shoot my NCO with his sniper. Uh, but, you know, it, you're not? Okay. I will choose as a reaction Ooh. to your shooting. Yeah. I will spend my last action token okay. and order Christian to go down. That puts okay. three action tokens on him. And as you can see, he has a limit of four for okay. actions. Not necessary tokens, but for actions. All right. So I will just grab one of these in cover. So I'm going to roll my one dice to hit you. And how many, uh, how, how, what do you need to hit now? Now I need a six, because you are in cover and you are taking cover. I'm in cover and I'm taking cover. So I need a six, that's and a that's a two. And yeah. now, for what you really intended to do is... Do you think I'm going to shoot your NCO? No. I think you're going to shoot something this else. this guy started out suppressed. So he can't shoot. So he cannot shoot. That is true. That's a very, very cool thing about yeah. suppressive fire. But Dean Stanton has a shot, shot uh, limit of two, so he can shoot again. Oh, he can and shoot he's going to shoot again. He can shoot twice. He's going to shoot Rupert. Can he even aim? He can also aim. So you can shoot, and, and you can shoot. aim, and, it, and you can shoot more than once. And you can once. shoot again. Okay, cool. So, how I'm many pieces shoot of that cover? Guy over there. You have one piece of cover. Okay. So I'm going to be hitting on five. Five. So if I now had another token, which I don't, I could have put it on him. He has a limit of four as well. Yep. Would have made it a six on him. But now I am put in checkmate, or at least check. So, how many dice? Three dice, please. So you aim for two, yep. and you have one base. So three dice hitting on five. Oh, look at that. It's the six. six. Which means he gets wounded. Yes, sir. He's not dead. You're not automatically dead. If I had rolled a double six, then you would have been dead on impact. Oh, look, the cards have two sides on them. One yes, side, sir. which is wounded. I'm going to place this on you? Yes. And that automatically counts as in cover. Yes, sir. So but now you you're wound shocked, and that is sort of like uh, the going down from too many pins. Yes. So he will have to spend the next turn patching up himself because nobody else can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but Not it also, also counts as being in cover, so he will be hit on a six now if the same guy was to yeah. shoot at him. That's correct. Okay. Uh, I pass the turn to you. But now you spent all your tokens. Spend my tokens. So you can't take any cover. No. Oh. Okay, so over to the Germans. You have your five action tokens? I have. Uh, put them down, trying to already plan, or yeah. I planned already what I was going to do. Nice! your turn. Uh, so the first thing that's going to happen is that Christian Kruger, who is in cover now, yep. he will lose this one. Yep, sir. Sort of the same as losing your oh. down bonus. I will just remove this, since yes. I shot one of the guys doing the suppressive fire. So that goes away. So, uh, I should have just done that first. <laughs> that is true. Uh, Christian Kruger is going to get one, and he's going to do something called a move and shoot. Okay. And he can do that as a three-inch move instead of his normal four-inch move. And that's sort of like an advance? That's sort of like an advance, but uh, like you did, you moved with one action token, and yep. then you shot with another, because your guy doesn't have move and shoot. Yeah. So, all the guys can't do the same things. That's, That's cool. cool thing. That's very cool. So now I'm making sure that my base is, is behind, behind cover. Because that's another thing. Yep. And that is one of the things I really love about 148 Tactic. It's brutal, it's fast, but the cover rules are probably the best in the world. Yeah, they're very simple. When it comes to skirmish wargaming. It's cover or not. If the cover is covering your base, or at least yep. the model, uh, you have cover. But if you can draw a line outside of the cover and hit my base, then I'm not in cover. So if I were to put him like this, so that a little bit was outside, yep. I wouldn't have cover from your guy. Yep. So I will put him here, making sure that my base is behind cover, yep. at least from him. I, I think you're going to shoot at him, that's why I I'm filming from here. Yeah, because he is, he's dangerous. He has, uh, he has four dice at long range. Yes, sir. So he can be very deadly. So he's taking a move and shoot, which means I am allowed to move and then shoot. But you're not allowed to aim? No. Okay, so you're going to be hitting on five since I have one piece of cover. And you can't take cover. No, because I'm out of tokens. Yeah, problem is I only have one die yeah. when I'm shooting with him at long range. 
Yes, sir. Which is, you know, to simulate this SGG44 wasn't that good at long range. Very powerful at short range. Uh, so needing a five, rolling a six. Ooh! So Harry Potter goes down with we'll a wound flip shot. Harry Lee over to his wounded side and give him one of those uh, wound shock tokens. And now, of course, it would be very interesting for me to spend another token and maybe one more to aim and try to take him out. But now, yep. then I would hit on a six since he now has cover. But I won't do that. Uh, I will stick to my original plan. Yes, sir. Let's uh, go. Mr. Koenig, he's my squad leader. Yes, sir. He is going to do a... Uh, let's see. He's going to do a... He's going to do a move. Yeah. Four inch move. Trying to move towards his buddy, his pal over here. Now mm -hmm. that I have eliminated Harry, he's not in that much danger. Yeah, because Harry has to skip the next turn. Yes. Uh, so that's one on him. Yep. And then comes something in uh, World Action, we call it Snap 2, but in this case it's a little bit different. Any model that is within 5 inches of a officer yep. can get extra actions. Yeah. And for but Mr. Koenig, he gives 2 extra actions. Yes yeah, sir, but you still have to have the action tokens, right? Yes, that is true. Um, and, and you can't get them if he's outside of five inches. Yeah, so you can't run away from him? No, you can't move away from him. Uh, but he's very good to have if you want to really use one character, mm -hmm. like your special up guy, to give him extra actions to move and do something very nice. Yeah, but you're, still, you're also limited to uh, three move actions, that's a maximum, and you have a limit of uh, fire actions on your weapon rated as your shot ratio. Yes, correct. So how many times you can shoot. Uh, so what do you want to do, Otto? I will. I will use Otto. He will get a. Five, he has a five-inch move, so he will move yes, five inches towards this uh, cover. Yes, sir. And then he will spend another one. Yep. To take a move and shoot, possibly. I will see. It's a three-inch move. Yep. And the cool thing here is, if I just get into base contact with this cover, yep, I'm allowed to move into it for free. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the model fits inside. Yeah, they fit perfectly within the donut covers. And these covers, you will find them in the starter boxes. Now the question is, do I have a line of sight? Nope. I don't think I do. No. So I can't shoot with him, but okay. He is then in this one. Yep. And he's protected in case you want to come out and shoot at him. Yes, sir. Uh, and then I have one more left. And I think I will save that to be able to take cover in case you find out you want to do some shenanigans. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Martin. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I'm going to start by shooting again. Okay. I'm going to shoot the STG guy again. Okay. With uh, this dude. Okay, with that dude. With Dean Stanton. Okay. Boom! And Remember, he has to stay this turn. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you're gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna be hitting on five. I think I will I will spend this token I saved. He'll go down. And this time he will uh, go down. Okay. So Please. I'll be hitting on six? You will hit on six. That's a miss. That's a miss. What do you want to do now? That's one token spent. You got four left. It is. Now I want to move him. Now you want to move. Okay. I want to move him over here. So that's two actions done. And then I'm going to shoot at that guy over there. Okay, I'm just going to stumble into the chair. I'm actually going to move all the way out here. Oh, oh, that's a that's a brave move. Yeah. Oh, wow, I need to we we need to show them something uh, next turn, my turn, something Cause, cool. Cuz now I'm going to be hitting on a 4. You will. And why are you hitting on a 4? Because you have no cover and that's what I get. It's fantastic. So and I'm going to aim that shot. Yeah. As you can see, he is now uh, in base contact with his cover. Yep. And as long as he's not shooting over more than two inches of cover, it doesn't count as cover for me. That's correct. So he has found a spot through the fence, stone fences, mm -hmm. and he will be shooting poor Eric. 
Yes, sir. Hitting on fours with three dice because he's aiming his shot. Ooh! I couldn't have saved against that no matter what. That's, that's two sixes and, and that's a headshot. headshot. So he is now out Both. of the game. And yes, here sir. comes another uh, difference between bolt action and 148. Yeah. He's cause... now left as cover. Yep. So now Otto or someone else can run over and use him as cover. Yes. Okay, but so that's I two tokens two left. Tokens left. And now you really need to do something. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna bank them. No. Okay. You wanna try to finish? Oh, I have to run this guy behind cover again. No, don't do that. Dean is gonna run back behind some cover. Okay. So one token spent for that. He's got a four-inch move, so he just runs behind here again. Okay. Staying cover from everything. Then, I'm gonna bank the last one, I think. Yep. Because Otto's probably gonna come running. Maybe I should just lay down some opportunity fire. Ooh. No, I'm gonna bank it. I'm gonna bank it. Bank it? Yep. Okay, so you killing my NCO needs to be avenged. Yes, sir. So let's, uh, let, let's, let's start out over here. Yeah, what happens here? Well, he actually comes back into play, so remove that. Yes, he sir. will count us in cover. Since he hasn't done an action yet, yep. So counting has been down, sort of. So I will, I will uh, play him with with the red side now. A little less uh, good stats. Less good. Less good stats. Uh, but the important stuff stuff is going to happen over there. If you wanna uh, okay. point the camera at Otto, also known as Hero of the Trenches. <laughs> So what Otto is going to do, he's going to move with his super fast move of 5 inches. Yes, sir. And when you're moving out of donut cover, you measure from the model? Yes, not from the base. Yes, sir. Only when you move into it. So he will move up here, that's a move of 5 inches. Yeah. That's one action token spent on him. He now hasn't... you can see this guy, I think. Yeah, you can see him from there. Okay, but you know what? I want to do something else. Okay. Because that was a move. Yep. Now I want to do a move and shoot. Ooh. And that is a three inch move over to here. Yeah. And then I can shoot at the end of the move, and that's within 10 inches. Yes, it is. And that means we have come to the short range threshold. Okay, so everything within. 10 inches is short range, yes. regardless of what weapon you're using. Yes, and then you have another stat on your weapon. Okay. So in bolt action, you have uh, maximum range of the weapon, and then you have half that, you don't get a penalty. You get a penalty when you pass the half mark. Yeah. Here, you get a penalty, sort of, but it's less dice rolling. Cool when you pass 10 inches. Yep. Uh, the cool thing about Otto is that he has a uh, submachine gun, the uh, S, uh, the uh, MP40, yep. and it rolls three dice at short range. Nice. So that's pretty good. And I noticed that your guy is not... He is uh, standing in the middle of the road. But he has he has something <laughs> He is down. in cover, because I haven't used him yet. Yeah, so what, 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 what do I need to hit him? Uh, five. I need five to Base hit him. Base of four, in cover, five. So, fives, can I do it? No, no can't. I can't! Oh my lord, the black die failed me! But worry not, I have another slip up my trick. <laughs> you want to shoot him again? That was wrong. Uh, you know what? I will spend a third action yes, sir. on him to do a shoot and move. Okay. So, an advance order in bolt action lets you move and then shoot. But here, here you can choose which way to do it. You can shoot and then move. So... You know what, I'm going to shoot and then I'm going to move him back so that he's around there. Okay. So let, let's try to roll over here, maybe that helps. <laughs> Shooting again. Brap. Roll no. a six. I got the six, which means he is taken he's wounded. down. He's wounded. Not killed, but he's down. Yes sir, so I'm going to place the in shock thing. Yeah. And as we discussed, I will now move uh, here. Uh, I'm going to flip his card over. This is Frank Williams. I have now moved him three inches back so that if you want to come and shoot me, you will have to move at least twice, I think. Okay. And then I have two action tokens left. Yes, you do. I will also do something that is 
exclusive or unique to 148. Yep. That is spend two action tokens on Christian Kruger to throw my smoke grenade. Ooh. And grenades are come in three types. You have smoke, you have frag grenades, and then you have the German stick grenade. Yes, sir. Uh, concussion grenades. Concussion grenade. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sure the German stick grenade also was a frag grenade, but in this yeah. game, they used that symbol to differentiate from a frag, which is a small, normal US thing, uh, and the with a stick. Uh, I'm going to use the smoke, and then I can throw that up to 10 inches without having it scatter. Yeah. You I can throw it more. I can throw it 5 inches extra if I want to, then it's subject to a dispersion, and then you have to roll on a d6 and see uh, if it, uh, it disperses or not. Alright. I want to throw, I wanna throw a precise uh, throw yes, sir. at this point, and that will set off, set off the smoke, and it's a 4 inch template. Yeah. Like that. And it now blocks line of sight. So if Harry, yes, when he does. comes back, want to shoot, he and has to it move. blocks me from sniping out your wounded guy. That is true. Nice. But if that is not all. At the start of my next turn, it yeah. doubles. Oh. And I can put it where I want to. So you can. Okay. How long does this last? Until next turn again. So my it lasts for two and a half rounds. Yeah, sort of. So nice. it's pretty neat, pretty neat to have smoke. You can and now you begin to see how tactical this game is. You can use smoke, you can use your guys to suppress, and we haven't even seen opportunity fire. No, we haven't. I'm done. I haven't got any more action tokens. I hope you won't do anything now. Okay. Hello guys. <laughs> I'm Martin. Why are you always saying that? No, I'm Martin. Martin. You always say that. I get five new tokens. Yes. Did you save one? I saved one. So Sorry. you can have six actions. I have a total of six. There's no limit to how many you can have. That's cool. But uh, you shot the guy with the grenade. Ah, you got grenades on that guy. So now I have to get that grenade with another guy so that I can take out your auto. Oh my lord, can you pick up his grenade? Yeah, so you can transfer grenades between you guys. Can you do, do you that in be... bolt action? You can't have grenades in bolt action. You can't have well, grenades, you can in, have bolt grenades in bolt action. Then the whole squad has them. Yeah, well, but then, then they're anti-tank grenades. Yes, yeah, sir. So you can't use them on personnel? Well, you sort of use them in close combat, but we'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you do I'm, the, I'm gonna move. When you do the assaulting. I move my four inches. You got a four inch move? Yes, sir. That brings me within one inch of my comrade. Comrade. I He's wounded. transfer the blast grenade to this guy. Okay. And that's a free thing. It doesn't cost anything. Nice. But uh, can you see my guy? Nope. But I've pre-measured and put down this thing where I want to throw the grenade. But I'm outside of ten inches from it. So that's going to be an inaccurate throw. So I'm going to use another token to move up here. So then you are now out of my line of sight. But yes, you sir. you have a line of sight to where you want to put the grenade. I do. And that is now within 10 inches. It is that. Which means you can throw it exactly where you want it to land. I can actually throw it over here. You can? Uh, yeah, since I have line of sight to there. And that's within 10 inches. Okay. And this is a blast grenade, so I can't... That costs me two action tokens. Yeah, it does. So now you spent four. Yes, sir. But you spent four action tokens, but it's only On three, three actions. actions. So I have one action left. Yeah. But I can't, with this guy, take cover because it doesn't work against a concussion grenade. That's correct. And you also don't have enough action tokens. No. But uh, so how many dice do you roll with that? That's a strength four grenade. You so roll four, four dice. dice. And each roll of 4+, plus damages one character within the radius thing. If there's several characters, you can actually damage multiple targets with oh, the grenades. Oh, that's awesome. And how do you decide which guy gets hit? It's the guy with the lowest hand-to-hand -hand value that gets targeted first with the grenades. So, technically speaking... So, the weakest guy yes, takes the brunt of it. So, technically speaking, if yep. you had four Germans and yep. one US, yep. you could throw that grenade... Mm -hmm. And all the Germans, all would, the be Germans would be damaged since the US uh, characters have higher hand to hand value. That's, That's correct. So you awesome can throw the grenades tactics. into close combat. Cool. Yeah. Okay, anyway, you roll four dice, you yes, land the grenade over there, and you need four pluses. Every four plus uh, is a hit and will damage the character. Yes, sir. 
And that is different from shooting, because if you shoot me with four dice and you score a four and a four and a five and a six, it's only one yes, sir. hit. Yes, sir. But in this case, you will uh, distribute wounds as you go around uh, the target, sort of. Yes, sir. So let's see how many ones and twos you can roll. Oh, he rolled three hits, and that means three hits has to be allocated to... Otto. Otto, because, well, he he's alone. And that means he is dead. So grenades, extremely powerful. Yeah. And you want to do something with your two last tokens? You know what? We talked about uh, opportunity fire and ambush and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I want to do one of those. Because that is very similar to bold action, isn't it? Yep. Mr. Dean Stanton now wants to go into what uh, what is called here um, opportunity fire. With his last action. With his last action. Okay. I'm going to place one of these opportunity fire tokens at something I can see. Mm -hmm. Okay. That guy over there. So what uh, what kind of radius yeah. does he have on that? Two inches. So if anyone performs an action within two inches of that uh, token, he gets to shoot at them. You get a but only shot. once. Yeah, you can shoot once. And you can't take cover from nope. opportunity fire? Nope, because it's... It's like an ambush, you know, in bolt action you declare an ambush and then yes, if you want to shoot, you shoot uh, when you want the enemy to be shot. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get that shot off because I've already killed two of your guys and I believe we are over 50%. Oh no, did you kill two? Let's take a look now. You have killed Otto, he died. He has a points cost value of six points. And you kill my NCO, he is worth nine points. That's a total of 15. And our forces, we didn't mention that, it's 27 points. And if you kill over half, yep. that breaks the morale of the other team. And such a such shame. Life. Such a shame. And this game is that fast paced. Yes. What and is this? Turn three? We have spent a lot of time talking. Yes, sir. We have. Uh, but we hope you have seen some of the similarities and uh, a lot of differences from Bolt Action. Yes, sir. But the cool thing, and uh, what we often do, is that we combine Bolt Action yes, with sir. 148. So we play a scenario, and depending on how that scenario goes, we take one of the small skirmishes and we sort of make a separate game out of that. Exactly. And it's very cool for campaign games as well. Very, very cool. So if, for example, you had this mission where capture the the uh, VIP or something, uh, yep. one of the bolt action missions, then you could go down and then play that game with 148 tactic. Yes, sir. To try and or have that real skirmish recreate game. Recreate battles inside of bunkers and yeah, it's all of those skirmish stuff. Perfect for uh, uh, playing games inside buildings. Yes, sir. We will actually, we will actually, I have some, uh, some, uh, some dungeon stuff. Yes. We're going to do uh, Castle Wolfenstein. Yes, we will. We will. <laughs> it's going to be bloody. It is always bloody. Uh, but anyway, that was 148 Tactics yes, uh, compared to Bolt Action. Remember, you can use your Bolt Action models. You can uh, download these cards online. Yes, sir. 1-48tactic.com. And you can also download the tokens and all that. So it's pretty neat, pretty neat. Thanks so, for watching, guys. And see you in February. Yes, we will. Bye.